there, Kara here, and it's time for a simple sketch four. So in this one, we start with the same A2 base, five and a half by four and a quarter. We add, um, I added an embossed layer, a banner, an oval, and a sentiment. Okay, let's get started cutting our pieces. First things first, we need the five by three and three quarters. I'm gonna do this in a simple black and white. So there's our card base, five and a half by four and a quarter. This is the next layer, and this is going to be embossed. Then I've got my two banner pieces and my oval. So let's get started cutting. First thing I'm gonna do, move you guys over, bring in the big shot. And I'm gonna use my embossing folder first. And I will get you the, again, the numbers will all be posted next to the machine, or next to the video. And this is the textured impressions. It's really cool, it's almost like dots and dashes and ribbons, I love this one. And I'm gonna take the white, and I'm. you have to kind of decide, do you want your pattern to go vertical? Or on this one, I did horizontal. I'm gonna do vertical for this. Another thing you wanna make sure that you get your line straight or it's gonna make you crazy. If you emboss this crooked, the whole card's gonna look crooked. So you wanna position it and look down through and make sure that you've got lines exactly where you want them. And you pop this in. Now I am using the regular base, not the, not the magnetic base. That's for your dies. You want the regular one that comes with your Big Shot when you're doing the embossing folder. It's just the Big Shot platform, not the magnet. Oops, I'm still gonna do more, but let's bring you in. I forgot I gotta cut. And there we go. Look how cool that looks. Ah, just awesome, I love it. All right. Now, I need to cut, the only other thing I need my Big Shot for is to cut this. But this time, I am gonna use the magnetic platform. I'm gonna pop you out, switch. And bring in the magnetic one. And I'm, again, I'm using the, the, I use this die set on 90% of my cards. I use it all the time. It is a worthwhile investment. It's the Stitched Shapes die. They just finish whatever you're doing. They look really cool. So here's our oval. And if I bring it up so you can see it really close, you can see that it looks like I actually stitched the edges. I didn't. And I'm almost done. Now it's time for the banners and I'm using my triple banner punch. And I have a one inch. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make, do both ends. There's one. And there's two. Super simple, right? There we go. And now I'm pretty much ready to stamp my card and then assemble. Now, you don't necessarily, these stamps are from the Friendly Wishes stamp set. But notice these are the red rubber stamps and they come with foam already as part of the stamps. So you don't necessarily need to use the mat, except that in my case, I have an uneven surface on my counter. As much as I love my glass tiles, they're not smooth. So to get the best image, I use my mat. I'm also going to use, this, this is, um, we're using this in class this week, actually, if you are joining me. And remember, you get to join classes when you have purchased from 
my Stampin' Up! site. When you spend at least $50, you are enrolled in the May bundle or whatever whatever month you're in. And you get to... I forgot to show you this. I was yapping. This is the Whisper White Craft Ink. And again, this is part of the class for this, this week that we're doing in the live class. White's a little trickier to use. Get yourself good and inked. Notice that's not really good on the B and the E. I need a little more. So kind of a twist and a pat. Make sure that you've got some really good coverage before you do it. If you're not sure, you can always flip this, flip this over and stamp on the back just to give yourself an idea of how it's gonna look. It looks very much like chalk on a chalkboard when you do it on the black, and I like that. I'm okay with that, so I'm gonna flip it over and do it again. And the reason I'm flipping it over, you know, why why push my luck? Remember, these stamped, uh, these stitched framelits look better on one side than the other. All right. Position, get it where you want it. Commit, it's only paper. Woo! And now I'm gonna, I'm gonna push my luck and I'm gonna add a rose to the top. I don't wanna get in front of the camera and it's tricky because I can't really see, but let's see what happens. All right, I'm now ready to put everybody together. So bring you in. When I'm putting this embossed on something that I've embossed, I use glue dots or the fuse. It, it's a heavier, um, a heavy duty adhesive. And because of the bumps, you don't kind of get, you get a better seal. And I don't want my card to be falling apart. Position you where you want it. Now if I need to remind myself, I can pull out the card, the sketch, and look at the card and see how am I doing. So far so good. Next, I need my banner. I could have embossed that too if I wanted. Get you in the middle, hold on, get you in the middle and straight. And then some dimensionals, of course. Again, lost those, they're gone. Good thing I have lots. Dimensionals, nice. Now we can position you. Get you where you want it. And that will, of course, you need a dimensional for this one. That's our, our test on the back. Now I have the option for the sentiment and I'm thinking I might put my sentiment up here or maybe I'm just going to be happy with the way it is. I could add some more embellishments. I could add some three-dimensional flowers. I mean so many options of what you could do. The white ink takes a little bit longer to dry so be careful when you're moving it around especially in a video. You can see I've got a little bit of smooched right there but I'm okay with it because I'm gonna think it's a chalkboard and I'm gonna like it. So if I want to do my sentiment, again, I can use my, um, my handy dandy label punch. Again, I use it all the time, I love it. But I don't have to, 
but I could. I could also use my black paper and stamp on that if I wanted to. But I think for today, I'm gonna leave this just the way it is and you can see what you think. I like my sentiment right in the middle. I think it gets me what I wanted. So I am good to go. Happy card making this weekend. Have a great time. Love you. See you soon. Bye.